Hi guys, welcome back to Discovery Myth Talk Show. And today, I'm very lucky to be able to interview one of my friends and his wife. Both, uh, both of them are uh, store vendors and definitely they are affected by this COVID-19 pandemic. So let me introduce you to you, Nicholas and his wife, Lulu. Hello. Hi. Hi yes, guys. hi. Yeah, so thank you so much for saying yes to this interview session. Yeah, so first first question for all you guys, uh, because you guys are store vendors and you guys sell one of the signature dishes for Sarawak, like Sarawak Laksa. Okay, so how this COVID-19 affected both of your business? How it affect us uh, to be... It does affect a little, just that, you know, people are scared to come out right now. We, we do understand. And then... It probably affected 30% of our business, our store business right here. When, when, the, when the government announced that the MCO, that is a movement control order, right? So you guys quickly switch it to delivery or takeaway only? Okay, at first we were confused. We, we didn't know whether if we, if we had the opportunity to open our store or not because uh, and then, not long, we receive a news that we are allowed to operate in our coffee shop. That, but it's only for delivery and takeaway only. So, so most so of your reg- most of your regular customers they do come and like for takeaway only, right? I mean, at first we re- at first business wasn't too good because I believe a lot of people were also confused whether if the coffee shop will open during the lockdown or are, are we still selling so we receive a lot of calls and message that uh, it's available just that uh, it's only for takeaway and delivery only of course uh, the first few day business wasn't too good it was quiet then probably after three to four days business start to pick up everybody know you can come to the coffee shop for takeaways uh, then then you keep then you see customer coming in already Mm. So, so I mean that yeah, just now you mentioned that okay, uh, compared to before this pandemic was happened, so your sales was like up to hundred percent. But because of this, because of this pandemic happens, that like it it caused like uh, decreased down to seventy percent. So, how how do you like uh, uh, how do you manage to survive during this pandemic or any 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 way? How do we survive? We don't really have much option, to be honest. <clears throat> to be honest, we don't have much options over here. Either because we we are more the thief income, so if we don't work, we don't have any income. Yeah, true. I say, I would advise if uh, we had our savings before before any of this uh, pandemic pandemic ever happened. So say it does help us a little and then business is still ongoing so it may not be as good as before so i so say you know uh, spend your money wisely eh? really <laughs> spend your money guys you know this thing we don't know when it will happen so i say you know we got to prepare when you know when everything is bad you know i believe even after this pandemic economy will not go back that soon so yeah say, it's true let's save your money buy what you need necessities only and then you know don't don't simply spend your money anyway <laughs> that, those unnecessary things we can always you know can can always buy in the future but you know you really need to keep your money now i believe this one month of MCO, I believe a lot of people realize that how important is money right now. Yeah, true, indeed, indeed. I mean that no matter no matter how many credit cards you have, right, cash is still very important during this moment. Okay. Right now, credit card yes, but you still gotta pay back <coughs> yeah. with interest and loan. That's all, that's all I say. If you have cash, keep it. You have extra cash when you get your salary put a percentage of that money 
into your bank and you know that is just for emergency. And right now, it is emergency right now. Mm. If you have a family, I believe uh, it's really hard right now. I'll just let you know. But those who are still single, I'll tell you, if you don't save money now, you're going to be in deep trouble if this thing happens again. You never know whether this <clears throat> this MCO will be extending or not. So it's it's kind of like uh, bothering a lot of people right now, especially businessmen. Yeah. So um, now, now the next thing is that uh, just now you mentioned that uh, because right now this pandemic happens and we and we do not know that whether after this hap- after this everything's clear whether the economy will bounce back or not. Okay. So what is the strategy? Uh, I mean that. Uh, what what kind of what what are the ways that you can do like to bring back your business back again back to like instead of seventy percent but back to like ninety or hundred percent? Right now, let me see. I think it's really hard. I mean, even if this MCO is over, there will be still many families or people that are still scared of coming out because of this virus. So I believe economy is not going to go back anytime soon. My, you know, plus and take maybe it takes, it will take maybe one to two years before economy can go back to normal. So I say, you know, you do whatever you can, you know, and then in this period of MCO, I think it, it's good if you guys could have a little side income. You know, you can uh, you can be good at whatever you do, you know, try to make it an income. It, it, it will help a little. It will help a little. But I say hustle, you know, go around hustling. Don't think too much right now. You don't have to it will not be possible for your business from 70% back to 100% within this year. Because uh, a lot, I believe a lot of people lost their jobs, a lot of people do not have income even though they got government aid. So, I say, I think it's a good time for you to sit, sit down at home, you know, do, do what you like to do and try to, you know, change it into a side income. Who knows, you know, you, you could earn more than your main income. True, so true. I say right now, so, so I say right now, you know, there isn't much strategy right now. I say, so I say maybe, you know, try to find a couple of side incomes. You guys are free at home right now. We are free. So we know we can do, we can think. We have, we have the time right now. We have the time to sit back, relax and think, you know, how can we get a second or third income? in hmm. that's that's true that's true <clears throat> especially right now like uh especially those uh those those people who are having like uh, only one job and it's really affecting them so much yeah i think that it's best it's best then this is i think this is the right time for you to think oh i need i need some backup i need some backup yeah so now the next uh the next question is uh i probably gonna ask your wife okay 之前为什么你会来你们会去验这个COVID-19的这个东西因为我有朋友确诊然后他以前有经常来我们的咖啡店所以他建议说我们如果可以的话去验一下啦他讲说啦我们就觉得OK咯为了求安心我们就去验咯
<笑> OK， 说说，现在又又又又隔还有在还有在 Facebook 写是说 OK， 你们两个是这是一起演，然后是 positive。那那那那那一刹那，你会不会有一个害怕？可能 public 会讲你们呢、啊，还是说怎样？嗯，就算他讲我们，我们也是不能够做什么嘛，就跟大家讲喽，诚实跟大家讲喽，是喽，我们真是中了。因为我们其实也不知道是什么时候传染到，然后是在哪里被传染，所以跟我买过东西的 customer 很多很多 customer 都 message 我，问我呃，他们跟我买过东西需不需要去 test 啊什么啊，我就跟他们讲了，如果你们真的是不放心，你们可以去试试看 test 啦。可是过后第二天很多 customer 打给我说，呃，那边的人都不要跟他们 test。他们是这样子讲啦，就是说他们的风险比较低，因为可能那个 tester 也是有一点不够啦，还是人手也是不够啦，嗯、呃。嗯，明白明白。所以所以现在<咳>现在你们还要被关停多少天？还不知道。<笑>还不知道。Uh, I'm we're not sure actually. Maybe maybe fourteen days. Fourteen days. Yeah, maybe, maybe. 嗯 ，OK， for almost a week already. So I mean that、uh, right now you have been like quite in different place. So how do you, who do you miss the most, and how do you contact with them? Who do we miss the most? We miss our family. We miss our son the most. Video call, 每天都跟儿子 video call 咯，因为我们也是很久很久没有看到他了。So I say the only way to communicate is through video calling, and then by by phone calls or you know with friends, you know WhatsApp, WeChat, whatever social platform available out there. That's good. That's good. At least at least that you you can you can update to the people that uh how do you feel? Okay, like uh when 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 your family members like care miss you, they can call you directly. So. Yeah, this is the like a、uh, social media. I mean, ah,、uh, the one part of the positive. So before we off, maybe you can show me that how's the room look like, <laughs> the house for for the quarantine. Of course, of course. Okay, let me show you around. The this is ah、uh, we call the KBS quarantine, ah,、uh, center. After you are.、Uh, After you are released from the hospital, okay. Let me see. Let me. How do I turn the camera? Ah, okay. All right. This is a main door. All right. This is our stocks and supplies, just in case、uh, we get hungry for suppers and stuff.、Mm -hmm. Okay, and then、uh, it's a room with two. It's a room with two beds, so you can see. Ah,、oh, okay, okay, okay. You have a air conditioner here. You got a fan for another option, and then you have your own toilet, and then、mm. we have a balcony outside here. Ah, okay. It's like a it's 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 like a hotel, you know, a a a a, a low a, a low budget hotel. Okay, so this is the outside right here. This is where、uh, all the patients are staying. You no, know, we met a few friends. This is how it looks like over here. Hmm. So it isn't too bad. The 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 quarantine center they provide three meals a day. So I say, yeah, it's better than what I expected. The 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 frontliners over here, the nurses, the doctors, whoa, they are. I tell you, they are fantastic. They are really really good people. I tell you. So I say those outside there, you know, that always uh discriminate uh those front line those front liners. I tell you, you guys are, you guys are idiots. These people work really really hard over here. I experience them, I see them every day. They are working tirelessly over here. So I say you know don't simply spread fake news. You know don't scold them. They are also very tired. I believe they miss their family as much as we do. Okay, okay. So I mean that. Ah,、uh, yeah. Well, bro, thank you so much for ah、uh, 
saying yes to this interview session. And I pray and I pray that you and your wife will have a very fast recovery and soon, soon it will be as uh, healthy as possible. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. We are both strong. We are doing well. Don't have to worry too much. We'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.